microbiome, it, it literally, you know, if you break down that word, micro means tiny, bio is living, and ohm is community. And so we're talking about microscopic little communities, and these are organisms that are everywhere, uh, and we don't think about them because we can't see them unless you use something like this. Um, then you can see them. So this is a microscope to look at microbes which live in microbiomes. Here at SHED, one of the things that's so unique is our ability to characterize the environment because we have lots and lots of data that we've captured for years and years, but we've never been able to pair it to what does it mean for the little microbiome. Um, and now we do. And the earth is mostly water. I like to say aquarium earth, and if we understand things in a smaller controlled setting, like an aquarium or a lab here at the aquarium, we can then expand what we learn to exhibits that we manage, or other aquatic systems like the Great Lakes, or potentially the oceans, or all the way up through to the globe. So a microbiome is really an understanding of the bacterial, uh, fungal, and viral communities that um, live in an ecosystem. You are an ecosystem, a human being. Uh, our guts, our, um, our skin, our mouths, they are ecosystems. And the bacteria, the viruses, um, the fungi that live there, we call that a microbiome. So for us, we're looking at animal habitats from our animal collections here at the John G. Shedd Aquarium. And my main responsibility uh, is to deal with the environmental samples. And those environmental samples uh, focus mostly on water because we're an aquarium and most of the things are aquatic. But we're also looking at the microbes that are in the air, the microbes that are in the food, the microbes that are on surfaces. So we're looking at any of the environmental components. And that's what uh, my staff and my team uh, work on. Working with the scientists and researchers here at the Shedd Aquarium, we're able to actually examine the bacterial communities associated with the dolphin population, with their skin, with their mouths, with the stool that they excrete on a daily basis, with the water, with the trainers who get the dolphins to um, uh, interact in such a fantastic way. We're able to look at the bacterial populations by taking a sterile swab, taking a very small sample from the animal, like a, literally, uh, we do this with humans, just swabbing the surface of their skin, and then extracting the DNA from the bacteria that come off on that swab. And we take that DNA and we sequence it, like we would a human genome. Uh, we sequence the bacterial genomes, and that tells us who's there and what kinds of functions they can achieve in the environment. So currently the Shedd Aquarium does not have the ability to run the actual DNA sequencing, and that's why we have partnered with Argonne and University of Chicago, and the new technologies are allowing us to basically take a sample trap those organisms, run it through a machine that then can tell us exactly what types of organisms and microorganisms live in there. Of course, we're really interested in understanding the microbiomes of our animals and the environments that they live in. Once we start understanding these microbes, we are finding that the microbes are directly related to health in some of these animals. In some cases, it's just a matter of being exposed human beings, just like a whale or just like a fish, we have an immune system. and Our bodies are designed to fight off things that could be dangerous to us. But if we never get exposed to those things, we don't have the ability to fight them off. So we feel that the changes to optimize the microbial ecology will end up optimizing health for our animals in the long run. So at Argonne National Laboratory, we are very used to working at the cutting edge of science. So it's our privilege to be able to work with the scientists here to further our understanding of animal microbiomes and animal health.